it's the map here of Abbey Leaks, Abbey Leaks Town. We're here because we're um, we're going to visit the grandmother, the great grandmother, Maggie Cash. Hey, our boy. Well, who's the blackguard? Who's oh, yourself? I thought I thought you were going to tall today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that? You're going to force that blackguard. Yeah, we're going to have to force. Come in, come in, right? Ah uh, no, the time there, I remember about the the way you travelled all over the country and it took you two years. You, you told Fiona yeah. the last time. Tell us that story again please. I was married at the 11th of March <laughs> in Port Leisha. That was many years ago. And um, there was a man in Port Leisha, may the Lord of mercy on him, John Joe. A very, very nice man. God gave him a bed in heaven. And my father didn't know I was getting married. He never knew a word about it. So, John Joe gave me away. And he always asked me when he met me, Maggie, were you sorry? for me giving you away. No, I said I'd do the same thing this morning. So he was happy about it. And uh, we came to here upon the 12th, out the Mount Rara Road. My father was there with a pony and car at the end. And Mammy was the only one who was at my wedding. There was no wedding in Bethany, I was married with the priest. So we left and we came to the Mount Rath Road to Daddy. We stayed one night with him on the 11th. We got up on the 12th and we came to a four cross roads. There's one road see, going for Shanaho, there's another going for Aheen, one for Abbey Lakes, and one for Mount so you can take any of them roads, see. All right, poor Ned said, Lord Marcel. We went down, bid him goodbye, walked down, and came over on the Cork Road. And a lorry was coming. I put up our hand, turned. Man pulled up, very nice, but I not see where he was going. Where are you going, said Ned? I'm going to see Torn Moore in the county all the way. I'm going there to see. <coughs> we landed in more more at half eight the night. We went into the pictures, it was only ninepence. Came out, walked on, we walked about ten miles. Now, we were hungry. Yeah. And the money we had was, that time, was three shillings. We got a bag of chips between the us. We had nowhere to stay. I know where to go. We saw a plantation, it was spilling rain at this time. We saw a plantation and it was covered over with trees. But it was bone dry. And we went in there and we saw it. And the two fell asleep. We were so tired. What happened? The water broke over the mountain and the river came down over us. Drowned like rocks. So we got up, we walked down. And many weddings we got. And hard times. But it never bothered us, we kept going. <laughs>